How will Canada's new mortgage rules shape real estate into 2025? Let's break this down into two groups, existing homeowners and first-time home buyers. But first, some context to keep in mind. How many renewals are coming and what's the mortgage delinquency rate? Hi everyone, Claire Lee here with Royal LePage Terra Equity Elite Realty here in York Region, Markham, Canada. Thank you so much for being here and welcome back to the channel. Click like, subscribe and share if you find any of this information useful. You can also reach out anytime by emailing me directly or contact our team to sign up for regular market updates. The links are below. Before we dive in, it's important to understand the landscape. According to Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, CMHC, around 2.2 million mortgages will come up for renewal in 2024 and 2025. Typically, about 20% of mortgages renew annually, but starting in the second half of 2025 through 2026, this number will jump to closer to 60% due to the low interest rates during the COVID years. This wave of renewals aligns with the spike in sales from 2020 and 2021, shown in dark red. Despite the media hype, mortgage delinquency rates remain relatively low so far. As of Q2 2024, Ontario's delinquency rate is at 0.18, while Toronto sits at 0.15, according to the latest report from Statistics Canada in September 2024. For more context, the links below show quarterly trends since Q1 of 2017. Only time will tell how this evolves. Existing homeowners. Today, when home buyers take out a mortgage with a federally regulated lender, they must pass a stress test to ensure they can handle higher payments if interest rate rise or their income drops. Currently, the minimum qualifying rate for uninsured mortgages is either the mortgage rate plus 2% or 5.25%, whichever is higher. Mortgage insurance isn't required if the down payment is 20% or more. So if you're renewing your mortgage and want to switch lenders for a better rate, you need to pass the stress tests again. It's reasonable to assume that many homeowners would stick to their current lender to avoid the hassle. The Office of Superintendent of Financial Institutions, OFC, recently updated its policy, effective November 21st, 2024. Under the new rules, the mortgage stress test will be eliminated for uninsured borrowers switching lenders at renewal, provided they keep the same amortization schedule and loan amount. In theory, this change should encourage banks to offer more competitive rates to retain customers and make it easier for those with uninsured mortgages to switch lenders. First time home buyers, 30 year amortization. Starting August 1st, 2024, lenders were permitted to offer 30 year amortizations for insured mortgages to first time home buyers of new construction homes instead of the standard 25 years. But let's be honest, not many are buying new builds these days. So, effective December 15th, 2024, the 30-year amortization will also apply to both new construction and resale homes. 1.5 million insured mortgage cap. The insured mortgage cap limits the maximum home price eligible for a mortgage when buyer's down payment is less than 20%. Since 2012, this cap has been set at $1 million. However, starting December 15th, 2024, to better reflect current housing market conditions, particularly in Toronto and Vancouver, this cap will now increase to 1.5 million. This change will apply to all home buyers, not just first time home buyers. So, how will these new mortgage rules affect you and your decision? Whether you're a first time home buyer or an existing homeowner, the real estate market is always evolving. It's crucial to stay informed and understand the data to make the best choice for you and your family. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. My name is Claire Lee, and remember, Claire Lee clearly is the right choice to help you achieve your real estate goals.